Welcome to this episode of Balin's Tent. One useful thing I learned from the elves is Lemba's bread, which can really help to fill your stomach if you're going on a long journey. Today I'm going to show you how to make it, but um, don't tell Thranduil that I borrowed his cookbook. For this recipe, you're going to need two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, eight tablespoons of cold butter, which is basically the whole stick, a third cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two thirds a cup of milk, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Preheat the oven to about 425 degrees. Then you put in the first few ingredients. The flour, the baking soda, and the salt. Now, one smart thing to do when handling the flour, ingredients like this, is when you have the cup filled, cut off the top with a knife so that it's even. One tablespoon of baking powder into the bowl. Careful. Steady hand. Then you add the butter and mix it with a fork or a pastry cutter. Then you add the cinnamon and then the brown sugar. And then continue mixing. Mix it in thoroughly. This might actually be a better workout than push ups or chopping wood. Then add the milk and vanilla to the mixture. by my ever-growing beard. It smells so good. I love it already and I haven't even tasted it yet. After mixing the dough, roll it out and get it about half an inch thick. Never let it be said that I didn't get my claws dirty for food. it gets a little too close to the edge of the sheet, try and push it in a little closer or a little further in and add on to the huge mass in the middle instead of letting it spread out and spider web too much. Cut them up into squares 
and then separate them from each other. Of course, this can be tricky if the dough is very, very fragile. And you want to cut each one, but not all the way, crisscross, corner to corner, with a knife. So that way, when they're finished, you can take them apart easy. Into nice, even triangles. Or more or less even. I think this is the only one that actually came out the way it's supposed to, but... You know, things happen. I think I'll leave it to the professionals most of the time. But who knows, if this comes out good, I might do it more often. That way I don't have to buy any from Frankles. Yeah, he's not getting my money. about 10 to 12 minutes, usually depending on thickness. Wow. Until it is thick and slightly golden. Which can really keep the okay. Fahrenheit. But when okay, I think that's enough stirring. The question is where do I start? You get this big jumble mass here, and you're trying to figure out just where to cut. Oh, okay. 